and then my dad passed. <sighs> my dad passed just a few months after. Yes. You know, my dad was so instrumental in putting, keeping me together while that case was going on. Because it's like, I just spoke to my pastor. Don't worry. You know, we are, we are winning this case. We were, you know, all of those things. After that, I think a month after that, my dad passed, yes, you know, yes, and yes. it was like my world just literally crumbled. crumbled, you know, it crumbled. So I made arrangements to go and the next day I flew into Benin, drove there. So, of course, I went to see him at the morgue and <sighs> have you ever seen a dead body? Yeah. You just know. Mm -hmm. You just know that there are no more there. Because it's so empty. It's a shell. So, you know, we all like to look good. We all like to hips, lips and fingertips. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, this body is a shell. I saw my dad. I saw my mom. And you just know that the person that you know and love is gone. And that's just a shell. And that's just a shell. And I looked at him. My dad's nickname is Mobility because he's the life of the party. If my dad comes here now, all of us will be like, If my dad came here, we would all be like so happy. And so, you know, he would bring drinks and everyone's just like laughing. And, you know, so they call him Mobility. That's like his nickname. And I looked at the body and I said, Mobility, how could you do this to me? I just kept thinking, what am I going to do? How am I ever going to get back from this. How am I ever going to get back from this? <laughs> <laughs>